Hi, we're Heavy Metal Beer Club. And today we are going to Nelson's Greenbrier Distillery in Nashville, Tennessee. Come on, let's go! Let's go! A short distance from the main tourist strip in Nashville, Tennessee is Nelson's Greenbrier Distillery. The first thing you notice when you are walking up is how enormous the building is. They have whiskey tastings Monday through Friday, preferably make a reservation. However, we didn't know exactly what time we were gonna be there and they took us as a walk-in. They start every hour on the hour. They also have a distillery tour and tasting, which is available on Saturdays and Sundays. So if you have some more time and you're there on the weekend, I highly recommend that. They recommend that you book online in advance to ensure that you get a spot on the tour because their weekend tours and tastings often sell out. The weekday tasting room is very inviting. It's nice and big and spacious to accommodate a lot of people there at the bar. The tasting consists of four of their seasonal whiskeys, and it's very nice, the placard that they give you that tells you the name of the whiskey you're tasting. It has tasting notes on it and also the proof. If you have someone in your party who doesn't like whiskeys, recommend they try the Luisa's Liqueur, which is a great dessert to just sip on. During the tasting, they talk about the history of the business and they also give you a quick crash course on tasting whiskey properly, swirling it, smelling it, looking at the color of the whiskey, and then of course, tasting it properly. I highly recommend that you go online to check out the history of the distillery, but I'll try to cover it in a nutshell right here. In 1850, a young Charles Nelson and family migrated to the U.S. from Germany. Sadly, he lost his father along the way. In the 1860s, Charles bought the distillery in Greenbrier, Tennessee. By 1885, they were selling 2 million bottles of Nelson's Greenbrier, Tennessee whiskey and was being sold from Jacksonville, Florida to San Francisco, California. Charles passed away on December 13, 1891. His wife, Louisa, soon controlled the business in 1909 statewide prohibition hit and forced Louisa to close the distillery. In 2006, Bill Nelson invited his two sons, Andy and Charlie, to go see a butcher in Greenbrier, Tennessee, who knew the history of the Nelson distillery, and he pointed to a warehouse across the street that their grandfather had built. They then visited the Greenbrier Historical Society. The curator showed them two original bottles of Nelson's Greenbrier, Tennessee whiskey, and they were bit by the bug. They decided to bring the family whiskey business back to life, and after three years of research and planning, the Nelsons reopened the business in 2000. 2009. There's also a really nice merchandise room that has some great gift ideas for the whiskey lover in your family. They also have a really nice selection of glasses for tasting whiskey and barware. You can also get a bottle or a few bottles to go as gifts or for yourself after your tasting. They also have bottles that are available that aren't in the tasting. Cheers! Stay safe, drink responsibly, and stay metal!